Hey everyone, this is Leodi. This video is in continuation with the part one is travel with feature video. I'll also post the video link in the description box so that you can connect the dots. Guys, I have taken a screenshot of our option chain dated 16th January 2023 so that I can showcase it to you. Combine is straddle price. That is call LTP and the put LTP. Call LTP is 100 and put LTP is 98. ATM strike is 18050. So, the combined straddle price comes out to be 100 plus 98 is equals to 198, right? So the combined straddle price is 198. Now let us understand how legs will be selected if you mention any multiplier. So case one, wherein I have chosen multiplier as plus one, right? There are two uh, parameters. One is sign and other is multiplier, right? If you choose Higher multiplier, it will allow you to select long distance strike. And if you choose lower multiplier, then it will allow you to select a small distanced strikes, right? So case one, if you have multiplier one, right? This is the formula of uh, calculating the strike. ATM strike plus minus multiplier into ATM straddle price, right? So CE leg 18,050. 18,050 is our ATM strike. Plus 1 I am using here for this case 1 plus 1 into 198. 198 is the combined straddle price which comes out to be 18248. So it will be squared off, it will be round off to the nearest uh, nifty strike which is 18250. So 18250 CE will be selected, right? While you backtest uh, on the basis of this straddle width feature, right? And for the PE leg, uh, 18,050 minus 1 into 198 comes out to be 17,852, which will be rounded off to nearest Nifty strike, which is 17,850. So 17,850 PE will be selected automatically, right? So positive multiplier will select the OTM strikes. Please note that. I'll quickly showcase it to you over the back end interface now. So now here I'll create a portfolio. It's a simple short straddle portfolio with the uh, setting straddle with feature straddle with multiplier I have kept as plus one, right? So I am keeping this uh, as one and saving this portfolio with the name with, right? I'll enable it. I'll recalibrate it. I'll run it over simulator. I'll choose the same date that is 16th January 2023, which I have shown you the option chain of, right? Now I am clicking on the start button. Use this to expand it. At 9.20, it will be triggered. Now, as you can see that 18,250 CE is selected and 17,850 PE has, select, has been selected, right? So this feature, it helps in making strangles dynamically for each day instead of using static ATM based strikes, right? Now I'll quickly showcase you the another case also. So this is the case too wherein I have selected multiplier as minus 0.5, right? So CE LX will be calculated as 18,050, which is my uh, ATM strike minus 0.5 into 198. 198 is the combined straddle price, which comes out to be 17,951. So 17,950 CE will be selected and for the PE 18,050 plus 0 0.5 into 198 which comes out to be 18,149. So nearest it will be rounded off to the nearest uh, nifty strike so that is 18,150 PE. So 18,150 PE will be selected. So I'll quickly showcase it to you on the Backenzo interface. We'll go to the Backenzo interface and I'll modify this. Now this time I'm keeping a straddle width multiplier as minus 0.5, right? I'm saving this portfolio. I'll enable it, I'll recalibrate it. I'll run it over the same date that is 16 January, 2023. Just use this to expand it. Now, if you see here, 17,950 CE is selected and 18,150 PE, PE is selected, which we just calculated it over Excel sheet. 
17,950 CE and 18,150 PE. So this is how this straddle width multiplier feature, it helps in making a strangles dynamically for each day instead of using a static ATM based strikes. And this is how you can backtest it. Thank you. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.